Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Haunted hotels and mansions are scary, but none can beat the creepiness of ghost towns. With their silent streets and derelict buildings, abandoned towns offer a haunting view into the lives of once thriving communities. From Henry Ford's doomed jungle to the town caught in the middle of the greatest man-made disaster, here are some real abandoned ghost towns you can visit. Let's begin. Number 10. Fordlandia, Brazil If you've never heard of Fordlandia before, don't worry, Google has. The search engine recognizes it easily. Deep inside Brazil's Amazon rainforest sits the ramshackle remains of what looks like an industrial town. One of the first things you'll see upon entering is a water tower with a faded Ford logo. That's because more than a century ago, the founder of Ford Motor Company, Henry Ford, turned that space of land into not only a business operation, but a social experiment of sorts. It may not look like it nowadays, but decades ago, the colony was Ford's bright and shiny idea for a new kind of industrial operation. And at first, it seemed promising. Ford Motors was selling thousands of cars and using massive amounts of rubber for its tires, which came from the Amazon forest. Henry put up a lot of investment into the forest and created an industrial utopia. By the time World War II ended, Ford did not see the need to keep the Brazilian plantations open and sold them to the Brazilian government for just $250,000. Fordlandia still remains, and you can visit it anytime. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 9. Bodie, California The term ghost town is thrown around so often, it's hard to imagine there's really one out there. But Bodie, near the Nevada state line in the Sierra Nevada mountain range, is the real deal. Bodie, with its nearly 2,590 meter elevation, was once a boom town. Bodie became a booming mining town of fortune hungry men, saloon shootouts, and barroom brawls. Its fortune was short lived, however. By the 1890s, gold strikes elsewhere had drawn the crowds away, causing the population to decrease very fast. Frozen in time, this ghost town became a national historic landmark in the 1960s. Now, tourists, not miners, flock here to walk the deserted streets and admire the town's arrested decline. No other town in the USA gives ghost city vibes as this place does. So, it's a must see. Number 8. Ordos Kangbashi, China. This is not just a ghost town, this is a ghost utopia. China is home to many of the world's biggest ghost towns, but Ordos Kangbashi takes the cake. Located in Inner Mongolia, Ordos was built to be a modern city with state-of-the-art architecture, large stadiums, and gorgeous public spaces. The city achieved all of that in just under 10 years, but it failed to attract people. It was built to house over a million people, but only 70,000 moved to the city. Eventually, those people started to move out as well. The city stopped building and went bankrupt. Today, it is largely a ghost town, with most of the buildings completely empty. A journalist in 2009 stumbled upon Ordos Kangbashi and exposed China's problem with ghost cities. Number 7. Varosha, Cyprus No, this place is not from Game of Thrones. This is an actual ghost town. In the early 1970s, the immaculate beaches of Varosha, Cyprus served as one of the most popular millionaire's playgrounds in the Mediterranean. However, everything changed in August of 1974, when Turkey invaded Cyprus and occupied its northern third in response to a Greek nationalist-led coup. Varosha's 15,000 residents fled the city in terror, leaving their valuables and livelihoods behind. Most assumed they would return once the fighting stopped, but the ongoing political strife has seen Varosha waste away behind a heavily guarded barrier ever since. The few intrepid explorers who have ventured into the no-man's land describe the resort as a crumbling ghost town. Trees have grown through the floors of restaurants and homes, and most of the former residents' belongings have been looted or destroyed. What is left stands as a spooky time capsule of the 1970s, including bell bottoms in shop windows and 40-year-old vehicles still parked at car dealerships. Experts estimate that it would take upwards of $12 billion to make its decrepit buildings livable again. Number 6. Hashima Island, 
Japan. This list could be filled with abandoned cities just from the continent of Asia. One of the biggest and most abandoned cities is in Japan and is commonly known as Hashima or Gonkanjima, meaning Battleship Island. Hashima is actually an abandoned island located off the coast of Nagasaki. Sadly, the battleship doesn't turn into a transformer as you might normally expect from an island in Japan. Hashima is home to a population of exactly zero, but it wasn't always like that. Originally developed as a residence for people working in the undersea coal mines in 1887, Hashima Island quickly expanded into an island of concrete high-rise buildings housing over 5,000 people. In addition to the usual community buildings, this island fortress featured a clubhouse, movie theater, communal bath, swimming pool, rooftop gardens, stores, and even a pachinko parlor. The mine eventually closed in 1974, when Japan moved away from coal power, and with the jobs went the residents. Hashima Island was also featured as a villain's lair in the James Bond movie Skyfall. Number 5. Balestrino, Italy Despite its stunningly beautiful structures that are still standing, it would take a lot of cash to rebuild this Italian town 40 miles south of Genoa. The medieval hilltop town of Bellistrino was abandoned in 1953, following a number of earthquakes, though a new town with the same name below it remains home to several hundred people. To make the town livable again, it would also require tinkering with Mother Earth. The real reason only about 600 people live here is that everyone else fled during the 1950s due to the serious threat of landslides and coastal erosion. It's fenced off, so you can't explore it, but the churches of St. George and St. Andrew and the Byzantine castle of Del Carreto can be spotted from the surrounding countryside. There is another famous medieval abandoned city in Italy known as Cracco. It dates back well off to the year of 1060. Throughout its thousand-year history, Krakow saw many conflicts between monarchs, armies, and political ideologies. In 1963, the last 1,800 residents were forced to leave Krakow for their own safety and were relocated to a new town with the same name. Despite being abandoned, Krakow remains one of Italy's popular tourist destinations. Films such as Quantum of Solace and Passion of the Christ have used the Italian ghost town to provide a spectacular and authentic setting to their stories. Number 4. Ashgabat, Turkmenistan If you take a quick look at the city, you would be convinced that it's not a ghost town. Instead, there's just a lockdown in the city. Turkmenistan is a former Soviet Union country with a leader that has been compared to North Korea's Kim Jong-un. President Sparomurat Niyazov planned to create a golden era of Turkmenistan in 1991 with the building of Ashgabat. He did so by erecting buildings that broke records, like becoming the city with the most marble buildings in the world. In fact, the city, which is 4.5 million square meters, has 543 buildings made of luxury material. Ashgabat also has the world's largest Ferris wheel. It was once hailed as a potential tourist city like Las Vegas, but it turned out to be more like Centralia in Pennsylvania. Today, this city is largely a ghost town because of the country's isolated nature. Turkmenistan is one of the least visited countries in the world. Number 3. Kolmenskop, Namibia This town was at its liveliest in the early 1900s when German miners came to the area to hunt for diamonds. With them, they brought German architecture, giving the desert area a wealthy, out-of-place look. The town featured a ballroom, a hospital, and a bowling alley, among other amenities. There was a casino, movie theater, school, ice factory, and other modern goodies. The town's decline began after World War I, but the final nail in the coffin was the 1928 discovery of a diamond-rich area along the coast. Most of Komenskop's residents hurried to the new hotspot, leaving their belongings in the town behind. Komenskop has been slowly getting eaten by the desert ever since. Tours to Kolmenskop can be booked in the nearby coastal town of Luderitz. This is the place you definitely need to visit if you're obsessed with abandoned cities. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by one of our subscribers. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it on over to us. Who knows? We might even feature it on a future video. Number 2. North Brother Island, New York. An abandoned island near New York City? I know you didn't expect this from the list. 
This 20-acre island in the East River was built up because of its isolation. Riverside Hospital was built here in the late 1800s to quarantine people with smallpox. It was even the home of Typhoid Mary during her final years. By the 60s, it was abandoned, leaving the trees to take over the buildings. The city has restricted access to the island, and potential visitors have to apply and be accepted before attempting to set foot on the island. Although the New York City Parks Department oversees the property, it's not inhabited yet. There have been proposals by architects and politicians for using the space, but nothing's flown yet. Maybe it's time to bring the island back to life. Number 1. Pripyat, Ukraine Welcome to arguably the worst nuclear power disaster ever. Pripyat was founded as a Soviet nuclear city in 1970 to house workers for the nearby ill-fated Chernobyl nuclear power station. It takes its name from the nearby Pripyat River and was officially recognized as a city in 1979 with a population of more than 49,000. Reactor number 4's core at the Chernobyl nuclear plant exploded in late April of 1986. All of the city's residents were forced to leave from the nuclear fallout in the days immediately following the explosion. Nature has since taken back the city, but it's still contaminated. The radiation has fallen enough for us to take guided tours through the apartments and abandoned areas. There's an amusement park that was supposed to be opened on the day of the explosion, but never could because of the contaminated air. Today, this city is the very definition of a ghost town. Which one of these cities would you want to visit first? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.